wanted party wear, so I brought you party wear. A woman already stopped me to ask me where the skirt was from, so it's going well. Whenever the sequins catch the sun, it gives a really nice sparkle. Um, so I kind of feel like a human disco ball, but I'm okay with that. Hey, welcome back to Now Trending, where we road test the trends you've been favoriting. Make sure to subscribe to Cosme UK for more videos just like this. Hey, I'm Maddie. I'm the shopping editor at Cosme UK, and I look after photo shoots, shopping pages, and fashion long reads. Hi, I'm Alex. I'm Cosme UK's fashion writer. So I look after all the digital fashion content on site from what your favorite celebrities are wearing to all the trends you need to know and shop. Hi, I'm Laura Nicole. I'm the contributing curve editor at Cosmo and I am responsible for all of the curve and plus size fashion related pieces you see. Today we are road testing new party season looks and I am excited. If you can't tell by now, I absolutely love all of the OTT bold pieces that you find, especially at this time of the year. Looking at the autumn winter 2023 catwalks, there are a lot of metallic accents, a lot of over the top silhouettes and kind of luxe fabrics. So I have been looking around the high street for something that kind of ticks all those boxes. I also want to be more sustainably binded in my party wear this year. I want to make sure I can have kind of one hero piece that I can wear to everything from my office Christmas party to a winter wedding. Tonight I have to get dressed for a fashion launch party event and we are going for fancy cocktails at a fancy hotel and then sitting down for a really nice dinner. Today I'm going to be wearing a quite OTT ball gown. Um, I'm headed to a friend's dinner party. She's requested that we all dress over the top. So we are going to deliver that. So I have gone for this gorgeous needle and thread gown. It's made from black tulle fabric and then has silver sequin clusters embroidered all over. It falls to the ankle. Uh, so it's definitely kind of more black tie theme. Um, and as for the neckline, it's got this really gorgeous off the shoulder detail and some little more tulle embroidery at the center. So it's really pretty. Now I have got a family birthday event that's black tie. So this dress really fits the brief. Okay, so obviously the new H&M designer collab just dropped with Raban and they sent me some things to try. And I think I'm gonna go for this amazing gold sequined midi skirt. It's kind of midi max, it's really long and swooshy and statement and everything that you want a party outfit to be. But then because it's a work event, I thought I would contrast it with this cool mango pinstripe blazer. I tend to have one element of like anything I'm wearing out out to be really casual. So like I always wear trainers or like more tough boots or something like that. I just like the contrast. And I'm gonna pair it with these amazing buckle boots from Reformation. How good are they? You wanted party wear, so I brought you party wear. I don't think anything screams festive season like this dress. We've got the sequins, the feathers. I've even paired it with an even more over the top bag. I wanted to go for a, a yellow look and I think we've, I think we've overachieved. Okay, so I'm ready now for the night. I'm in my final look. I've got my blazer on from Mango with nothing underneath because I feel like it makes it a little bit more evening and less office. Come on for H&M skirt, which is very swooshy. And then these buckle boots from Reformation, which I love. So yeah. Okay, so I've done my hair and makeup and I've got the dress on. And first impressions, I'm really surprised by how comfy it is. The fabric's quite stretchy, so it doesn't feel restricted at all. Um, there is a built-in section underneath the dress to kind of just keep the bodice in place, but it doesn't feel like it's digging in at all. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be really intrigued to see how I get on through the evening if this dress stays feeling comfortable. Whenever the sequins catch the sun, it gives a really nice sparkle. Um, so I kind of feel like a human disco ball, but I'm okay with that. You know, I couldn't wear this dress to the office or around my local Sainsbury's, so I think when you get an occasion to wear party wear, just go all out, have fun. That's what it's about for me anyway. In terms of accessories, I am gonna be styling this dress with this silver bow clutch bag from Monsoon. Um, it ties in really nicely with the silver sequins or the silver accents on this dress. And it's also a great high street dupe for the Lothar Randall bags. And then on my feet, I am gonna be wearing these mango silver platform heels 
I've worn these before and I know they're super comfy, so I'll be able to dance the night away, no problem. Now all I need to do is find some perfect Pandora pieces to finish this look and then we're ready to head out. Okay, I ended up here because I didn't want to do too, too much. But I think this looks really pretty. And then this is what we are working with for the necklace. I absolutely love these two layered together. It looks so beautiful. I'll come up close so you can see. And here is the final look. It is definitely bold in your face. But these Pandora pieces have really added to the look and elevated it, I think, in a really gorgeous way. Especially the necklace. I love these so much. I have dug through my Pandora jewellery box. I don't want to distract from this really pretty neckline. So I've gone for just a simple silver chain necklace with a little crystal pendant there. Similarly, my earrings, again, really simple. Um, an elegant pair of silver hoops with just a diamond detail. I've added some rings, including this stack from Pandora's Lab Grown Diamond Collection. It's actually three individual rings, but I have stacked them on top of each other to form a really nice cluster that I think just adds a little bit of drama. Um, to go with that party wear theme and then some bracelets just for a finishing touch so i am ready to go and i will check back in later and let you know how i'm getting on and for my final step i added plenty of pandora sparkle so i'm just checking in very quickly to give you a midday check-in um, and so far my verdict is a thumbs up as I said in the beginning, I absolutely love the party wear trend and I had to pop out very quickly to pick up a few bits and the amount of responses and looks and compliments that I got on this look has is a testimony to a good outfit, which I love. Um, I definitely feel like this look ticks off all of my boxes in terms of what makes a good outfit. So it's definitely a statement look. It's definitely a look that brings me joy and I feel like the jewels just elevate it even more so i so far it's a thumbs up okay so i am on my way out for the night and my initial thoughts so far are that the sequins on the skirt are very loud like they're definitely gonna make an entrance they would be because they're so big and fabulous but also that a woman already stopped me to ask me where the skirt was from so it's going well so far okay so i've just stepped away to do a little check-in let you know how i'm getting on and so far so good the dress is still really comfy which i'm pleased about um i've had a few compliments which is really nice um it's definitely the right vibe for this event um other guests have kind of also gone for um sparkly dresses or kind of tall flowing skirts um which is definitely the big trend for autumn winter. Um, so I'm really pleased about that. But yeah, I will do a final check-in tomorrow morning to let you know overall how I felt, but I'm gonna get back to the fun for now. So I am back home and my final verdict is definitely yes. I am a massive fan of this trend. I feel like this trend is very me. I love bold statement pieces and this outfit certainly is that. Um, I love styling it with these Pandora pieces. I just feel like it elevated the look so much more. The gorgeous kind of mix of silver and gold really just played nicely into this look. So I'm a very big fan. Morning, signing on quickly to review last night's look. It's a yes for me. I, I think mainly because it was a 10 out of 10 for comfort, which is always a win for a night out or any kind of party look in my book. The skirt is fitted around the waist and hips, but it's made with stretch material. So that meant that when we started our night with like a formal five course meal, I could sit there comfortably for a couple of hours and really enjoy the food without feeling like I can't breathe because my clothes are too tight. And then also the blazer had a looser boxy fit, which I think looks cool, but also again, really comfortable for a seated formal meal. And then the boots um, have a low enough heel that they still, like my feet weren't hurting by the end of the night because we went out for cocktails and dancing afterwards. So yeah, that's definitely an outfit combo I would wear again. And I think I will re wear all of those pieces separately a lot this season but I think that's an easy outfit formula that works for a lot of events so it's a yes for me and it was a great kickoff to party season which I am very excited for. So my final verdict on last night's party wear look I loved the needle and thread dress I wore. I was surprised by just how comfy it was. I've worn um, other black tie dresses in the past that have maybe restricted my movement or you know started to dig in by the end of the evening but 
I could have worn that dress for hours longer. It really was that comfy. I loved the on-trend details from the silver sequins. You know, metallics have been huge on the runways, but also silver jewelry is having such a comeback. Um, and the Pandora silver pieces that I styled with the dress, I thought just worked really nicely. Despite the fact that it's got those trending of the moment details, it didn't compromise the timelessness of the design. I know I could wear that in a year or even two years time and it would still be just as chic and elegant. So I think it's gonna be a real hero piece in my wardrobe. And that's the end of the video. I really hope that you love this episode and I will see you next time.